After a while, crocodile. Alright, anyway. So that was Leafeon. As I said, you definitely want to make sure you upgrade your speed before you go challenging that little stinker. That little stinker leaf, I tell ya. The other Pokemon you're going to want to probably make sure you wait a little bit, at least until you have something like Iron Tail or you have some, better yet, have some more HP, is this guy. You're the one who made Venusaur return the Meadow Zone to normal. That's right, isn't it? Wow. Come to think of it, I didn't expect to see someone so small as you to do that. Anyway, Venusaur and Polion and Blaziken. I do hope they learn to live together again. What? You want to battle with me? Oh, you can see it in my eyes? I got a fierce determination to beat you in a battle. Bring it on. Your Thunderbolt won't work on me. Some Pokemon are immune to Electro-type moves. Beware. Ah. In-game hints for the win. It's kind of nice that they did that, actually, because then you don't have people who... You have people that are probably like me and will continue to use the same move, because this is what I did when I... When I first rented Pokemon Stadium, this was, that was, I think, my actual first Pokemon game I played. That involved, like, type battling and strategizing and all that stuff. Um, I kept using the same move over and over, thinking, like, why do I keep missing? Because it was... In that game, sometimes they wouldn't tell you that certain moves don't affect certain types. Kind of like how ground types don't affect flying types. And for some reason, it kept saying, you missed, you missed, and it was frustrating. I'm like, ah! And I, I would be like... I think, I can't remember how old I was, I think I was like 10 or 11 years old, and I was like, Dude! Why isn't this working, man? So just, uh, stop missing! You know? So I kind of like it how they did that in this game. Some might argue that it's too much of a hold-handing technique, but you know, I honestly have to say I appreciate it, honestly. Especially for some of us who are like me, at 10 or 11 years old, thinking like, Oh yeah, I don't need to read the instructions, I can do this. And maybe it's not even so much need to read, it's more of a... Either it's an effort thing, or it's a I don't really know how to read thing, but I know how to play games because awesome, because the game is awesome. And I watched enough television to know that it works. No, don't you dare. Oh, phew. Okay, by the way, I didn't mention this. This guy is really tough to beat. That's why I, that's why I encourage to get an extra bar of health. Because not only does he have the leaf attack that is freaking, like, ridiculously dead accurate, Ouch, like that. He also has a ground attack, Earthquake, where he'll use it. Oh, come on! It's not like freaking Marv from Home Alone when he's blowing up, trying to blow the smoke off his hand when he ended up having his hand, like, burnt to a crisp, practically. He's like, oh! Ah! Ah! And he, like, scr scrambles about to try and get his hand in the snow. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that was uh, the leftovers I wanted to go ahead and clean up. I do apologize that I had to do an awkward cut. Oh, excuse me, to do this, what am I doing? I need to go talk to Driftblim. I know, I know you're all probably thinking like, oh, dude, you could totally just walk there, but... Plea, uh, bear with me. Plea with me, play with me, yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody wanna play with you, you weird fool. Um, you want to make sure you use Driftblim's service as much as you can, because the more you use it, um, the f closer you are to becoming BFFs with Driftblim, and eventually, spoilers, this service that Driftblim provides will actually be free. So, just a little FYI for those who are wondering, like, why is he using Driftblim so much? Like, seriously. Trust me, there's a method of madness to it all. Anyway, I need to stop trying to explain stuff. This game is not that hard, it's just... I feel it's it's in me to explain things, and sometimes I go so far as to over-explain, but I really can't help it, you know. Oh well, I digress. Uh, next time on Let's Play Poké Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, we're gonna talk to this Kratos that is in front of the Cavern Zone, and we're gonna hopefully reunite the trio Venusaur, Empoleon, and Blaziken as three friends from different backgrounds and different beliefs, so that way we can slowly but surely unite the Poké Park and friendship. Thank you guys and gals for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please don't let's chill slap, and peace out, y'all. Check it. Okie dokie artichokies, I'm back. Man, four minutes? Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. Let's get started, man. Or let's continue, not get started. Are you getting used to the speed of your dad? Mm, yes, yes. I'll train you to be as fast as you can be. Mm. All I ask is for, mm, yes, yes, a little compensation of berries. How about 1,500? Ugh, that's an awful lot, I don't know. I, I, I can do a lot with... Uh, just do it, dude, come on. 
Excuse me. Yeah, you sound like you're really eating berries, dude. Burping in everybody's ear like that. Oh, well. Whew! Let us, look at us go, man. Look at us go. We have a need. A need for speed. Oh, yeah. I will try that out, but we're going to do that probably when we need to. Not, like, showing off like we're some kind of showboating butt launch. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do this faster, man. We need to get in the cavern zone. Get pumped, get excited! Yeah! All right. So let's talk to Kratios here, since the ellipse bubble is above his head. Hut, hut! Yellow body and red cheeks? Wait a minute. Are you checking out my peek booty What the heck, man? Poppycock, I'm not! You don't look strong at all, though! Ah. Rude! Rude! Hut, hut! I heard that you defeated Venusaur and Napoleon, though. Intriguing, yes. Lazigan, the Keeper of the Lava Zone, would like to see you. Ooh, VIP much? Hut, hut! You may come through the gate! Man, look at that. Alright, we're getting invited to the cavern zone. Well, technically the lava zone, but we gotta go through the cavern zone. Much like we had to go through the beach zone to get to the iceberg zone. I know. Crazy. It's hard to keep F after this stuff, but anyway, stop talking so fast, dude. Ugh, you act like you're nervous. Just. Oh, man. But, man, what is. Oh, it's a mine car. I was like, what is that? It looked like something rusty you'd see at like a construction site or a train station. Alright, do we want to enter? Uh, I don't know, this looks like Gloomy Galleon from DK64, and that place was a pain in the booty. I hated playing through that. Oh, man. Well, I, I should probably tell the story. Actually, no, we ain't got time for that. We gotta get through this. So, if you're getting tired of happy music, this place might actually be a little bit of con a controversial change that you've been looking for. Yeah, man, just listen. Let, yeah, man, and women, I should say. Jeez. Don't forget all the ladies, man. All the ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. No, but seriously, though, the Cavern Zone, I've noticed, is kind of like the the changing point in the game where they, they have a lot of happy music. You know, you start off in the Meadow Zone, and, of course, before the Meadow Zone, then you have the Beat Zone, Iceberg Zone, all that stuff, and then you come here, and it's like, uh, what the heck happened to the music, man? Jeez. So joyful, man. It's like a ma it's like you're so joyful, man. I, I was about to sing a song there. Sorry. <laughs> hey, guess what? I'm in so much trouble. Why are you laughing then? All I could do is laugh. Well, I guess if you're in trouble, you might as well laugh than cry. The reel is missing, and we can't use the minecart. No, <laughs> this is not good. This is so not good, man. Will you help me find the missing rail, please? Okay, slow down. Back the phone up. We have a missing minecart and a rail, but you want me to find the rail? Well, I guess that makes sense. Without it, we can't travel to the lava zone! Zubat are the key to the puzzle! Red text for the win. I'm sure they'll be able to help you in your search. Sure thing, I imagine so. I think I read, if I read that right, it said that they gossip, so I'm like, okay, well, I guess we gotta turn to some gossiping. Hear it from the grapevine, what we gotta do. Oh, check that out, there's a pickaxe, man. Nice, and some coal. Oh, who's going to be getting the call this year? Who's been naughty and who's been nice this year? Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, no. Guess not yet. It's too early for that. It's a neat sign. Guess we can go this way. So, let's... Wait, what? Hey there! Don't come this way! It's dangerous here! Oh, but the sign says I can! We're playing with the mine card around here! Whoopie doodle What does that got to do with me? The rail is missing anyway, and the mine card can't be used! Don't worry. Once the rail is back, we'll return it. But I want to come this way! Seriously? Come on, let me, let me let me go through. But thou must! You cannot come this way! You must find the minecart, or you must find the rail first! I wanna come play! We'll play, we'll play, we'll play! <laughs> Big bully. I'm gonna tell. Alright, so... Clearly we can't go that way. I guess we're gonna have to go right. So let's do that, I suppose. Bunch of buzzkill. Fun sucker. Fun sucker! Oh, no, sorry. Oh, you're from the outside, aren't you? Is that obvious, really? I guess I'm, I'm acting like a tourist here. What do you want in the cavern zone? The hot spring dried up. Sorry about that, there's nothing for you to do here. I didn't actually come here for that, but... Cool. I didn't realize there was a hot spring in the cavern. Huda, 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 huda. It happened when the ground shook the other day. Oh, you're not from... you're not here for that? You want to see Blaze again? Yes, uh, apparently I can't do that without a minecart. You know anything about that? Oh, that's no surprise, really. Hada, 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 hada. You know what? This place is so dark that some of us are leaving anyway. 
Hara, 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 hara. Who would want to come here? Uh, that was rather dark and creepy. Ugh. Okay, so... Person at Pokemon A. He's laughing at something that's really bad. Person B. We can't go to the... We can't go down a mineshaft pathway because they were playing with a minecart, like a bunch of mischievous little children. And Pokemon C! She's a depressed, morbid individual who pretty much says everyone just might as well just give up and go home because there's just no hope for this place. Lovely! Oh, maybe Pokemon D here, Zubat, will actually be a little more helpful, I guess, or cheerful for that matter. Mr. Mime asked you to look for the whale, I hear? Hmm, I often see Elam Alan looking at a whale and drooling. Ew, get a tissue, man, that's nasty. Yo, hey, do you want to play a chase? Sure, I guess. I don't know how this is going to work. You're flying and I can't. Alright, chase me! Why do we got to make every character sound so nasally? Jeez. Alright, Zubat, bring your word. Oh, jeez, that's right, this one uses Confuse Ray. Nice. Ooh, lovely! Well, you just gotta... There's nothing really too much we can't deal with. You just gotta kinda hang off to the side and... Whip him with your tail. I whip my tail back and forth. I whip my tail back and forth. Jeez, man, I didn't expect that. Holy crap. What? How? But why did you win? Wow. You're better than I thought. So cool, man! Maybe your friend? You've got friend! Yay! Woo! First friend, man, in the cavern zone. Alright, I guess... Oh, we gotta do the usual, don't we? Excuse me, why are you yawning, man? Don't be yawning. What's your problem? Stop yawning in everybody's ear. Alright, I guess we'll talk to this one. They say that the Pokepox Rainbow has been missing recently. Not that it matters much to those of us in this cavern. Yeah, I guess I could see that as being a legitimate reason to be like, ah, who cares, we live under a rock anyway. Quite literally, a giant chunk of mountain rock. Yo! Let's play chase! Oh, he's like the cool nerd here. Cool. Alright. Alright, let's begin! Bring it oneth. Bring it oneth! I don't know why I'm keeping it. Well, I did say I, I need to fill this video up, and I got ten minutes worth of footage to do that with, so I'm like, you might as well. Because, I mean, I, I find that if I cut so much that it just gets to the point of... I don't know. It's make it's like I'm making like Edward Scissorhands and chopping my video pieces video into pieces and then duct taping it together. It becomes kind of obnoxious to watch. At least to me it does. But I don't know. You all really can probably tell fill me in on that and let me know if you want to. If not, that's cool too. I lost, but it had fun. Can we play again? Uh, twice this is enough for me. I need to get going here, man. I got enough stuff to do. There's Mr. Pressed here. Jeez. Miss Depression, or Miss Moody, I should say. Yeah, Miss Moody, that's a better one. Isn't there a character named Moody that... I forget what's her name. Oh, Amanda Bynes. Yeah, she played that character off the Amanda show. It was this girl named Moody or something. Alright, where to go next? Where to go next? Oh, Aron, that's right. Well, there's a gold bat there. I'll worry about that in a second. I'm so hungry! They say that the Lava Zone has a cool machine! See, it digs up as much iron ore as you want. Mm -hmm. Just like Mama makes. The minecart's broken, though, so I can't go. Can't really go there freely. Say, can you smash crates for me? What do we look like? We're playing Super Mario Sunshine. We're gonna do the box breaker. Box breaker. Box breaker. Maybe you'll find a piece of delicious, delectable iron ore for me. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay. Just like Mama's cooking, I guess we'll go ahead and bust up, up uh, bust us up some iron ore. Pick up, man. Pick it up. Pick up our delivery. Nine times out of ten, it's delivery for me because I'm like, uh, who, who's got time for freaking going out and driving to it? Unless, of course, you want to save like the three dollar delivery t uh, fee. I guess that would be a legitimate reason. Cause it's like, geez, man. Sometimes they charge ridiculous amounts, and then they expect you a tip on top of that, and I'm like. Well, I mean, why don't you just use, I mean, in some way, you've got a friend. In some ways, I can kind of see that being a re legitimate reason to charge. Oh, okay, sorry, I, I need to stop talking about that. Huh? Who am I talking about? Yeah, he was just saying, she, he saw sh uh, her walking off with the rail, and I'm like, okay, who's she? We're, now we're at the point of who is she, who is he talking about? Huh? Who am I talking about? That cute in my wow. Mm-mm. I saw my wild chew off a of minecart the other day. 
piece of rail. Mm. Well then, that's that's rather problematic. I didn't really expect her to do that, but apparently uh, that little stinker had more to hide than we thought. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to find out why Monwild just chose to not mention that. Of course, we didn't. We chose not to ask, so I guess at, don't ask, don't tell, you know. But anyway, love y'all bunches. Please don't let the shows flap, and see you guys next time. Peace! Peace.